belakang ni. Okay, Assalamualaikum, Salam Sejahtera, Selamat Pagi. So today we're going to look into chapter 6. Okay, so chapter 6. Okay, chapter 6 is regarding output. Okay, as all we know, output is something being produced or being made uh, out of the computer itself. So, you look into the slide. Okay, cost outcome. You will be able to explain the computer components, hardware, software and network based on given topics. And the learning outcome, after completing chapter 6, you will be able to describe the type of output. Explain the characteristic of various display device. Describe the factors at the fact, the quality of LCD, monitor and LCD screen. And describe various ways to print. Okay. This is uh, the content of the chapter, what is output and also the output device. Okay, output is the data that has been processed into a useful form, category. So we have text, graphics, audio, and also video, okay? Output device. An output device is an any type of hardware component that convey information to one or more people. We have display, printers, speakers, headphones, and earbud data projector interactive whiteboard game controller okay here is oh, it is an output device is a type of hardware okay a component that uh, display that convey the information into one or more people okay it can uh, give you the display of the output itself as for uh, uh, for example your dis uh, your display your lcd monitor itself that is an output device, okay? Okay, a display visually co convey text, graphics, and video information. A monitor is a display device that is packaged as a separate peripheral device. Type of monitors are LCD monitor, plasma monitor, digital television, HDTV, and also CRT monitor. Okay, CRT is a monitor that is predate back uh, 10 years back. Uh, like the t uh, television at your house that is bulk, a big size uh, monitor. Okay, we have... Uh, sir, kejap, sir. Peripheral tu apa? Okay, peripheral. <coughs> Mana the peripheral? Okay, separate peripheral device. Maksudnya satu device or a device that is... Um, macam mana nak kata yang dedicated okay satu separate peripheral device yang dedicated untuk uh, output sahaja untuk display sahaja okay okay liquid uh, a type of display we have liquid crystal display lcd use a liquid compound to present to present information on the display device so we have here active metric display and also mass a passive metric display so, uh, active uh, metric display, TFT, thin film transistor, use separate transistor to apply charge to each liquid crystal cell and thus display high quality color. Okay. So, uh, meanwhile, passive metric display use fewer transistor, require less power and is less expensive than an active metric display. Color is not as bright as an active metric display. Okay. Uh, liquid crystal display ni macam kalau if you look at uh, LED. Okay, LED, LCD dia ada satu bulb yang kecil. Itu adalah L, uh, liquid crystal display. So it uh, emit a light. Okay. Uh, if you see uh, LED is light emitting diode. It's the same thing but it comprise of many LED L or LCD. Okay. And then we have uh, the type of plasma monitors are display device that use plasma gas technology and offer screen size up to 150 inch. This uh, uh, one type of uh, LCD or display that is uh, more advanced than LCD but are using uh, plasma gas. So it produces more heat actually when you are close to, up to the screen itself. 
you can feel the heat from the, the screen. So it can offer up to 150 inch of size of television. Okay. So television are also a good output device. Require a converter if you are connecting your computer to an analog television. So analog television. Nowadays, most of you are using digital television. Okay. So you are connecting using HDMI only. So HDMI slot. Digital television DTV offer a crisper, higher quality output. HDTV is the most advanced form of digital television. A smart TV is an internet enabled HDTV. Nowadays, you can also get an Android TV. Okay, Android TV is uh, one step higher than a smart TV. A smart TV. So a smart TV nowadays uh, is considered the number two. So today you have uh, several types of television. For example, 2K, 4K, and the, the most advanced one or the most latest one is 8K. Okay, it represents the crisp crisper of uh, the display or the image that being uh, put on the screen. It, uh, it is much more uh, sharper and the color is more, uh, very vi uh, vibrant, very light. Oh, it's about the pixel lah, sir. Yes. Okay. A CRT monitor is a desktop monitor that contain a cathode ray tube. A cathode ray tube is one type of tube that uh, emit a light and project the image onto the screen or onto the display itself. So have much larger footprint than do LCD monitor. So this is a CRT monitor. If you look back uh, 10 or 11, uh, 10 or 15 years back, this is the type of monitors are being used uh, in my year. Okay. Okay, the quality of a display this depend primarily on its resolution, response time, brightness, dot, pitch and also contrast ratio okay today monitors use a digital signal to produce a picture to display the highest quality image the monitor should plug into a dvi port a dedicated video uh, image port dvi port and hdmi port and also a display port okay this is s video port the the one that um, around like uh, shape Okay, the blue one is VGA port, standard monitor port, and the white one is DVI port. The HDMI, uh, if you look at your TV or your laptop, uh, it, uh, it has some port with the image of uh, inverted D. Okay. Okay, resolution is the number of horizontal and vertical pixel in a display device. A higher resolution use a greater number of pixel. Okay. The higher the pixel, the greater the resolution, uh, the greater the resolution, and the the better the image they being displayed. Okay. Okay. Printers. Okay. A printer produces text and graphic on a physical medium. Before purchasing a printer, ask yourself a series of questions. This is the series of questions that you need to ask yourself. This is among the questions that you need to ask yourself. What is the budget? That is the primary question. What we want to uh, to ask: How much we we willing to spend for a printer? How fast must my printer print? Page per minute (ppm). 15, 20, 35 page per minute. Do I need a color printer? What is the cost per pages for printing? Do I need multiple copies of document? Will I print graphics? Do I want to print photos? Do I want to print directly from a memory card? So on and so forth up to the 19 question. Okay. Do I want wireless printing capabilities? Okay. Okay. Various way user print document and pictures. Uh, we have uh, throughout the wireless printer. Okay. So you have, uh, have uh, cable to connect to the printer. Using memory card, uh, docking station, and also network printer and also printer cable that connect to the system and also wirelessly. Yeah. For me personally, I prefer both wired and wireless. If a printer can connect uh, using a wired uh, connection by using USB cable, USB fire wire cable. So I can print directly from my computer or my laptop. 
But the use of wireless, if I want to do some document on my mobile phone or my mobile device, I can print it directly to the printer. Okay, there are two type of uh, printer, two categories of printer. So one is impact printer, a printing device in which a printing element directly strike the surface as in typewriter. And then we have non-impact printer, a printer that create image without mechanically impacting the page as an inkjet or laser printer. Okay, impact printer, the printer, this one is uh, the type of printer that make a lot of noise. Okay, you can see this type of printer in the banking uh, field or in the accounting field. If you go to the grocery, uh, you item grocery at third level of administration building, you can hurt the printer print, uh, printing a document. You will uh, make some loud noise. Okay. Okay, printers. A non-impact printers form characters and graphic on a piece of paper without actually striking on, on the paper. So we have here inkjet printer, photo printers, laser printer, all-in-one printers, thermal printers, mobile printers, label printers, plotters, large format printers okay in yet the one printer that are commonly or uh, widely be used uh, photo printer is dedicated to print photo laser printer as uh, you can see uh, i have one laser printer at my back this is the laser printer it print uh, much faster than in yet and the ink is being printed throughout a laser roller okay all in one printer, you have a printer, fax machine, copy, copy machine. This is all in one. Thermal printer, the printer that we use to print a receipt. And then mobile printer, uh, we will look uh, after this. And then you have label printer, a type of printer that print on adhesive or on sticker. Okay. Plotters is for making a, a banner, a poster, a large uh, size uh, printer and then we have large format printer for printing uh, large format uh, output example uh, for a billboard or display board okay okay and inkjet printers from uh, form character and graphic by spraying tiny drop or liquid ink onto a piece of paper it spray it drop a tiny ink of uh, a tiny drop of liquid ink Okay, you have color or black and white. Printer with higher DPI, dot per inch, produce a higher quality. The same goes as pixel. The higher the dot, uh, the higher the DPI, uh, the sharper the image will be. Okay. Speed is measured by the number of page per minute. PPM, it can print. Okay, you look here, 300 DPI is, uh, is like this. 600 is like this and... 12, uh, 1200 or 1200 dpi is much more sharper okay how an inkjet works okay this is the inkjet cartridge so the cartridge have been put into the slot and a small resistor hit the ink so there is something some device inside of the cartridge hit the ink okay will hit the ink the, the resistor and the ink will boil up to make a vapor of bubble okay the vapor bubble force the ink to the nozzle it will come out to the nozzle and ink drops onto the paper as the, uh, the vapor bubble collapse fresh ink is drawn into the firing chamber so it is a simultaneous um, a simultaneous and continuous process that happening okay so that's why when you are doing uh, or you are printing a paper, you take the paper out of the uh, the printer, the paper is still hot or like warm, okay? Because heat is used, is being used as to apply the ink into the paper. Okay, a photo printer produce lab quality photo, most use inkjet technology. Pitch bridge allow you to print photo directly from a digital camera. Print from a memory card and preview photo on a built-in LCD screen. Okay, pitch bridge is an application. So if you connect your camera, uh, 
uh, you can directly print from the camera. Okay. This is the type or, or example of photo printer. So the color is more vivid. The picture is more sharper. Uh, we will get uh, some printer do a borderless printing. No border. This one have border. So this one has no border. Borderless printing. Okay, this is laser printer. So it is high speed, high quality. Have two type of uh, laser printer. There is black and white or color printer. Okay, for me, I choose a black and white printer, laser printer as I, usually I print only black and white document. Okay. Okay, this is how a black and white laser printer works. So the, this is where the paper come in into the laser printer. The roller of um, the roller of the ink. Okay, this is laser. The laser beam um, creates a charge that causes toner to stick to the drum. Okay, this is the drum. So toner stick to the drum, and it will roll onto the paper as to print what is being projected by the laser to the roller. As the drum continues to rotate and press again the paper, the toner transfer from the drum to the paper. Okay, a rotating mirror deflects a low power laser beams across the surface of a drum. Okay, a set of roller use heat, okay, as mentioned before, and pressure to fuse the toner permanently to the paper. And then you will get, you will get this type of output, whether it is uh, a wording or a picture being printed onto a black and white laser printer. Okay, this is all-in-one printer. It's a single device that prints, scans, copy, and some cases also do faxes. Okay, also called a multi-function printer. Okay, a 3D printer. Use a process called additive manufacturing to create an object by adding material to a three-dimensional object, one horizontal layer at a time. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> as for example, I want to print my uh, stamp pad. Okay, it can print. It can print three D. So you can look it as the real thing. So it print a layer at a time. Okay, it take uh, maybe like this size. We will take about three to five hours. Three to five hours to print this type of material. Okay. Okay, a thermal printer generate image by pushing electrically heated pins against the heat sensitive paper. So we have here dye sublimation printer. So there are two types. Just now I said to you it used to print uh, receipt. That is the most common uh, thing about thermal printer. The second one is being used to print a photo. Okay. This is a mobile printer. It's a small, lightweight, battery-powered printer that allow a mobile user to print from a mobile device. So connect the phone uh, either wirelessly or wired, and we can insert the paper from this uh, part, okay, this part. So the printer will uh, suck the paper in and also print the printer and put it, uh, uh, produce the output, okay. This is the label printer. It's a small printer that prints on an adhesive type material that can be placed on a variety of items. Okay, so adhesive type of paper. So adhesive type of paper, usually the paper is glossy, uh, quite shiny and most likely like a, uh, a picture, picture paper, a photo paper. Okay. This is the plotters. Plotters are used to produce high quality quality drawing. Large format printer create photo realistic quality color printers. Okay. So it to print a high quality photo. Okay. Uh, usually like banners, uh, bunting, uh, maybe some type of billboard, uh, a small size of uh, advertisement. Okay, impact printers. This is the impact printers from characters and graphic on a piece of paper by striking mechanism against uh, an inked ribbon that physically contact the paper. 
So the ribbon, uh, the device that give the impact and also the paper. So the ribbon is in the middle. So most likely like the typewriter. I think you should Google on how a typewriter is working. Then you will get the overview of the impact printer. So bear in mind about the word impact printer. Dia macam okay. tulisan brave ke so? Uh, most likely like that. Uh, but braille, you just give the impact direct to the paper. But in the in term of typewriter, you have one impact ribbon. In between the impact, uh, the device, uh, uh, the mechanism to do the impact and also the, the paper is up. Okay. Other output device, we have many user attach a sound, surround sound speaker or speaker system to their computers. Game console and mobile device to generate higher quality sound. Okay, you have center speaker, subwoofer, satellite speaker, satellite speaker. Uh, usually, it come either one satellite speaker or a pair of satellite speaker. Okay, headphone and earbud. The one that been uh, used by the child in this picture is headphone because it cover the ear. So one I'm using is earbud. You put it inside the ear. Okay, rest inside the ear canal. Okay, a data projector is a device that project the text and image displaying on a computer or mobile device screen on a larger screen so that an audience can see the image clearly. So it project uh, up to 150 or 170 inch of size uh, onto a screen. Okay. Interactive whiteboard is a touch sensitive device resembling a dry erase board that display the image on a connected computer screen. The same concept as a projector, it project the image into the screen and this device will capture if you touch the screen, you write something on the screen, it's most likely like you are writing on a touch screen. Okay? So it is an interactive whiteboard. It gives an opportunity for people to use the whiteboard as interactive screen. Okay, joystick will gamepad and motion sensing devices. Okay, motion, motion sensing game controller can be considered output device when they include force feedback. Technology that send resistance to the device in response to action to the, of the user. For example, if you are using uh, wheels and uh, wheels for simulation game like Daytona or racing games, the steering will give you some uh, sim uh, simulation. If you go to the left or to the right or you hit something, you will feel the vibration at the steering wheel. Yeah, the same goes uh, for the controller, uh, gamepad's controller. You will feel some vibration if you do uh, some movement. Okay, This is what we call an output device. It gives you simulation, stimulation for your nerve or sense at your fingertip as to know what is happening. <coughs> Okay, assistive technology input and output. You have head, head mounted pointer. Okay, head mounted pointer, reflective tracking surface attached to brim of head. Okay, this is not an uh, ordinary head, but it has a reflective tracking surface. So the camera or receiver will capture this movement of the head. Okay, so this head. Uh, most likely is the source of moving the cursor. Okay, if you are not using your hand, maybe you are uh, somebody is handicapped, so it, uh, using the hat as a pointer to move to move the cursor. Okay, this is the braille printer. It print like this. Okay, so braille character. Okay, this is the learning outcome. Describe the type of output. Explain the characteristic of various display device. Describe the factors that affect the quality of a NLCD monitor or LCD screen. Describe various way to print. Okay, that's all for chapter six. Do you have any question? Uh, 